Do you know what? Since I've, I've been playing MCOC on my phone, and can I just say, my skill level has increased by times 15,000, bro. Bro, the parries are on point. The, the swiping, the dexing is on point, bro. Everything is just amazing. I feel like a whole new player, bro. I'm feeling confident. I'm, 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 I'm using less revives. That's a lie, because I just unlocked Deathless Guillotine and then I duped. So my revive stash is a, a little bit. I forgot. Um, I forgot how how the uh, Bahama fight was, and I was being so uh, stubborn, bro. I was like, I was like, I, I need to watch no YouTube videos. And I've, I've done this. I've been here, bro. Bro, 15 revives in. I'm like, alright, let me go and watch a video. I, I forgot that I needed to keep close distance to make sure that um. I gained the correct charge. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah th that kept on getting me, and I was like, bro, I must be able to figure this out, man. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb, bro. Turns out I was dumb. I needed to watch a video. <laughs> That's good. I only use four anyway, because I, I used two, and I was like, what's going on? I'm asking in the chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have done that, to be fair. I, I, was, I was being stuck. <laughs> and I was like... Beasy weren't asking nobody in the chat. He didn't want to show any signs of weakness to anyone in the alliance. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? Bro, screenshots be crazy these days, bro. Screenshots be crazy. People be like, <laughs> like, bro, four months later, people be like, oh, Beasy, remember that time when you needed help? Yeah, remember when you couldn't be that boss? Yeah, shut up, Beasy, man. Don't take this. He's sending screenshots. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, oh, man. I'm sure I've still got a screenshot somewhere of you in, like, after your makeup stream, innit? Oh my yeah, that bro, oh, bro. Rah. Hey, listen, that. <laughs> hey, KJ said rah. <laughs> KJ said rah. KJ said rah. I'm done. I'm still, I'm still got it somewhere, man. <laughs> All right, let's go, man. Um, yo, what is good, people? I go by the name of BZ, and welcome back, man. We are back with episode number three of Wakanda Tactics, man. If you guys have been enjoying the podcast, make sure you guys hit the like button, okay? If you're not part of the Discord, make sure you join the Discord. The link to that is in the description below, okay? Now, as you guys are aware, man, if you've seen the first episode, if you've seen the second episode, you guys know I always uh, jump on with my boy Fish. Shout out to my boy Fish. Fish, how you doing today, my bro? Yeah, not bad, man. You're good. Welcome. It's good. It's good to have you back on the uh, on the pod, my bro. Um, I hope well, you're doing well. Here. It's like like I've said this is many a times. This is partly my channel now. So oh I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to sort out your first payment, man. I need, I need to. I need oh to sort yeah, out absolutely. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. You're good for it, man. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, today we're actually it's a slightly different episode. So I've told you look, guys that um, obviously we're gonna have. Uh, like obviously people that I'm friends with and stuff on here before I get anyone like kind of like YouTube -y or anything on that and um, Obviously so far we've had my boy Fizz on there. Fizz is actually an officer um, in the Alliance um, So he puts in a lot of work to make sure the Alliance runs smoothly um, And then you've got Tobstar who's just one of the low-level peasants in the Alliance who you know <laughs> Contributes very much here and there. He was on the second episode. So shout out to my boy Tobs um, and then now for episode three we actually have Massive, massive shout outs to the one and only my boy KJ, who is actually the Alliance leader, man. KJ, how you feeling, my bro? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Happy to be here. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Now, I just want to say, before we obviously go on to continue, ladies and gentlemen, um, KJ is actually not well. KJ is actually coming off the back end of having COVID. Um, so, you know, he gave me a few days. This is like the, the, the first day that he gave me of the week that he could do. Um, and we are doing it. So massive, massive shout out to KJ because he didn't have to come on here while he's still recovering from uh, COVID, but he's here. Um, and obviously he wanted to kind of be a part of what was going on, man. So KJ, I really do appreciate that, man. Thank you for turning up, man. Um, so oh, how, how's, how's it going, my bro? So let, let's let's start with how, how long, because I don't even think I know the answer to this. How long have you actually been playing the game for? Uh, so I opened my account, oh, I don't know, probably the first year or... Yeah, certainly the first year the game was released. Okay. Um, but I actually never thought too much of the game back then. So oh, I uh, okay. I deleted the app and never downloaded it again until uh, it was the weekend Infinity War came out. Oh, for real? And, oh. Yeah, and, and since then I have I've logged in every day for the last seven or so years now, I think, is when Infinity War came out. Wait, so technically, because you downloaded the game for the first year, does that mean you get, like, the nine-year anniversary, like... Do, do yeah, you... yeah. Oh, man, so you're, <clears> like... <throat> so really, you're, like, seven-year anniversary. Like, yeah, just... yeah, yeah, officially. <laughs> but unofficially, unofficially, <laughs> nine years deep. I, I like that, I yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> I like that. Um, so after playing the game for... We're, we're going to go with nine years. Um, after playing the game for nine years... Obviously, the game has seen such an influx of like 
different champions from different classes. Like, you know, once upon a time, you didn't have to scroll much to go through your, mm. your champions on the game. And now, dude, you could be there forever. Trying to, the amount of filters you have to do to find the champion that you want is, is insane. So of all the champions, and I know your roster's quite deep as well, um, who's your favorite champion? Oh, Ghost. All day. Go oh I, okay, this is what I mean you get on, bro. This is my this is what I mean you get on. Cause a lot of people you I, I haven't had a man talk about ghost since Panda Man Pete, bro. So I, I love the answer. I love the answer. What rank is your ghost? I've ascended. Oh, bro, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. So six star, rank five, ascended, six two hundred, yeah. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, of course. Oh bro, you're you're you know what? This is this is this is why this is why you're in the space that you're in, bro. This is why you lead the alliance. Could it yeah. be no one else? Well, in fairness, Fists has a part to play in the fact that she's ranked five in his refusal to take an onslaught boss. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that sounds a bit like Fists running from a good fight, man. I, I don't know. Well, <laughs> shut up, man. It doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. So, so, um, so would, you say, would you say she's a really good counter to, for onslaught? Um... Sometimes it depends. I, I haven't fully figured it out because um, it was I can't remember which war it was. It was back when he was um, part of the tactic there when I ran a couple of test fights and she seemed to be able to phase all of his hits. Oh, for but real? Then, That's yeah, amazing. But then, but then, well, you say you say that, and then I took him took her into war for the boss fight, and he clapped me in phase, and I was like, oh, this ain't good because I was. I was maximum suicides at that point as well, so I had like max recoil on as well. So I didn't have the health to be playing with. <laughs> but uh, no, I I would say uh, Tiger is probably my still my favorite counter for him. Okay, okay. I mean, y y yeah, you're gonna have to show me that one, bro, because <laughs> your boy, <laughs> your boy tried that Tiger with it didn't didn't work out. Yeah, too. yeah. I I, I, cleared, I cleared that up for you too. <laughs> yeah, the, the, that, that that Tiger. I, I mean, I remember seeing in the chat. I I, I I'm not gonna lie. I remember seeing in the chat. You solo in. I think you got a solo on the war boss, right? With uh, using Tigra against Onslaught, and I remember being like, "Yo, hey, that fight must be easy peasy, bro." I, I, <laughs> bro, I saw Onslaught defender in Battlegrounds like a few days later. I was like, "KJ, I could hear your voice saying Tigra." <laughs> I was like, "Cool, bro." I picked Tigra. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I tried to. I tried to make the first special tax miss. And when I see it not missing, I put the phone number. I said, yeah, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I was like, yeah, this, this. I was like, this didn't work. I was, like, I was like, Tiger's in the wrong hands, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> She's in the wrong hands. So, um, so I want to ask you, because obviously I've been a leader of an alliance before. I've been, a, I think I've been promoted to being a leader of more than one alliance. And I can honestly say that being playing the game from a leadership perspective. So when I say leadership, I mean like as a leader or officer um, is completely different to just playing the game as a member of the Alliance. So explain like, like in, in your experience, what's it like playing the game from a leadership perspective? Um, well, in fairness, I don't think it's a whole lot different for myself. Okay. So, I mean, sh shout out the other leaders and fists as well. I think we all do a lot of work and someone obviously has to have the leader title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just, yeah, Siren gave it to me as she left and that's it. I mean, we all vote on things and it all gets discussed. Um, so there's no there's no just gung-ho decision-making amongst us. Um, so, yeah, it's not, real... so, it's not, so it's not really a thing where it's like, you know, fists... And like maybe one of the other officers try and pitch an idea to you and you're like, nah, bro, we're not doing that. I'm the leader. No, 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 I say no. goes, you peasant, shut your mouth. Listen to me. Like, it's not, it's <laughs> no, not really I, good. Okay, if, cool, cool. Because I thought that's what was happening way, behind the scenes. So you know, uh, if, I, if I had my way, we wouldn't have a Battlegrounds score cap. Oh, oh really? So you're against that? I hate Battlegrounds. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah, despite probably it. why but, you don't really want to play your boy because you know you get I punched have, up, I have bro. smoked you three for three. All right, listen, listen, listen. One thing I forgot to put a rule in place with. Let's not discuss uh, events that have happened. Okay, prior prior to the <laughs> podcast, it, it makes me look bad. Okay, okay, go, go, go. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> um, okay, that's a bit surprising to hear. I, I, I thought Battlegrounds was um. Or something that you enjoy, to be fair. So, so no. I, so I mean, I enjoy, 
I enjoy doing our friendly tourneys. Okay. But I, as oh, as I far as the really game mode goes, yeah, I just it just takes up so much time, and I yeah, yeah. I just don't like it. Okay, fair play, fair play. So obviously, like you mentioned, so really, I mean, the way that it works with at least our alliances, yes, there's a leader, but the leader part of things is just because there has to be one. And ultimately, you and the officers work together to equally try and lead the alliance overall in the best way you guys see fit together. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. We all discuss and then... Certain things will take a vote, and other things that will just like will just pass it straight away, um, like okay. non non major things. But yeah, for for things like um, was it was it this season fists that we kind of just decided to bump up the defense and put a couple of extra dupes in. We didn't really vote on we, that. We just kind of did. Yeah, it. we we kind of didn't even like. We we kind of just did that on a battle group to battle group basis. We just left it up to each battle group to decide sort of if they felt that it was best for them to like sacrifice diversity for tactic defenders you know for what? example you know what? it's nice to hear you say that because like when when you're in the battle i'm, I'm in the same battle group as as kj and, and fist by the way right yeah. okay so like what you just hear heard fist say when i logged on to discord that evening it didn't come across like that because it was a bit like, I defense change now. And we're like, hold on, what, hold on, wait, what, 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 what? New tactics, bullshit, change defense now. And we're like, oh, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. It's like, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Who we got? So hearing you say it that way, like, oh, we kind of left it up to each other. Okay. So people obviously had the choice as to whether, um, obviously they wanted to kind of switch it up or, or not. Um, really, per battle group. Yeah, yeah. yeah like we we, okay. we kind of just left left it to the each like for the officers for each of the battle groups to discuss amongst like each of their battle groups like what they felt was best for them. Everyone ended up making some changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe yeah. a little bit, maybe a little bit too much. And like, I'm not going to say too much. I don't want to give away too much of what we're doing in our, in the middle yeah, yeah, of the no, season. Of course, of course, like, yeah, yeah, of course, so, of course. Like, yeah. But I mean that that's just like one example of like um, something that we the the way that we've led the like the way we've tried to lead the alliance because we've the, the alliance has been in a position before where we have had like out and out leaders and it I, I think leadership it's it's down to I, I think being a leader it can be just down to the individual themselves whether they're suitable for it or not in uh, terms uh, of uh, like if you're going to do the actual full-on leader type part all right so in your opinion as you've mentioned that point what type of leader is Kajo? like is he fit for the role do you think that you could do a better job do you Honestly. want to challenge him for the throne like what, what just, just, right just answers that let me let me go hang on with that <laughs> note button <laughs> honestly like i think it's very very difficult to say like how I think KJ's done as a leader, just because really and truly, like, it's like he said, like, he's got the title of leader, but he's still kind of just basically been acting as an officer. He's still been doing all the same stuff that all the rest of us officers have been doing this entire time anyway. So, so what, so, I, what I heard there is that he hasn't really stepped up into the leadership <laughs> role. Is that, is that what you're trying to say, or am I putting words in? Yeah, very good, KJ. Don't like let him like <laughs> manipulate us. Like, all right, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. You giving your answer. You giving your official answer. When 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 we end the call and, and KJ's gone, you can give me your real answer. Okay. Is that, is that <laughs> it's exactly the same as what I've just said. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. So speak, speaking of leader, right? Um, like you you touched on it briefly, but I, I want to go into a little bit more more detail. How talk us through how you actually went from. Um, because when you was in this alliance, was you just a normal member? Yeah, so... Uh, okay, so I, talk us through the process I, of how you got promoted to an officer and then how you obviously yeah. made it up to, to being the leader. So I joined back in, I think it was May 2021 now. Oh, damn, you've been... Um, oh, and I I came in off the back of Rich the Man. I asked him if he had any spaces. Okay. Um, I, was, I was leaving an old alliance. Okay. Uh, he put me in touch with the current leader back then, which was uh, Apoc. Oh, um, no, Apoc. Shout out to Apoc. 
I did my time as a member, just generally playing the game, being active, and then I believe it was uh, Fist that actually recommended me for an officer's role. Oh, look at you, Fist! <laughs> Yo! Man, man, promote, man got him promoted to officer, and now he's talking smack about you being leader. But go on. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then, and then obviously APOC left. He made Siren leader. Yep. And then Siren left and made me leader. So... I'm, I'm not going to ask the question I was going to ask because yeah. shout, 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 shout out to Siren. Okay, so um, when Siren left and made you leader, was that a case of it was just like, a, all right, I'm leaving the Alliance. I'm handing this over to KJ. Or was it a case of, look, I'm leaving. Like, all of us have a discussion, like you just said, like, you know, obviously you guys as officers, I don't know if it was run the same prior to you being leader, but like, was it, was it a case of, okay, let's all have a chat, see who we think is the best person to step up into that leadership role. Or, or was it just a case of, it, was it just random because it didn't really matter? Cause essentially you're all going to kind of be doing, you're all going to be helping run the Alliance together anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. So back when Sai was in charge, it was, it was very much the same. We all, discussed and voted on things okay um and then when it came to her leaving yeah she just made me the leader um probably because we were in the same battle group at the time we were talking a lot okay. organizing the battle group so okay. yeah she just passed it on to me okay okay fair play okay fair play now obviously since you've been a leader of the alliance what would you say the most challenging part of being a leader is oh liaising with kabam is a nightmare <laughs> so so do you feel like it's your responsibility and that pressure then falls upon you to obviously reach out to kabam when things aren't going right for the alliance or when like obviously the alliance has been hard done by by something that has happened in the game that obviously may it might have been a glitch or shouldn't have happened do you feel like that falls upon you because you're the leader uh, so I wouldn't say necessarily. I think there are certain things that I have to do as the leader. Like when we went through the name change, I had to okay. put that in. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm um, with you. And then obviously, as as Fists will know, we've had a nightmare trying to get them to change our tag because yeah, yeah. they can they can only change one thing every 180 days. I think it was. So. But a man can sort that for you, man, bro. You get me? You man need to message <laughs> your boy, man. I don't know what's with this long thing. You lot talk to me like I'm a normal guy, man. I'm out here, cuz. <laughs> Get me, you know, just need to mess it up easy. Talk to your boy out. Talk to your boy out, Kabam, man. We've got a couple contacts. Got the contacts. There. Yeah, I can sort that out, man. Don't worry about that. Nah, Kabam, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I know. I know. Yeah. I, know, yeah, so I, know I, mean, I know you guys don't really do favors like that. <laughs> now, go ahead. Look, I'm joking. I'm joking. Go on. So we got, yeah, so we got the name change, and then the guy just closed the ticket down as finished and oh, never changed the tap. And never change the tag, so we have to now wait for that time period to pass before we can have the tag changed as well. Okay, um, okay, we'll, we'll talk about that after we finish the pod. But um, okay, well that sucks. But but obviously something like that, obviously because you're the leader, it would make sense because obviously once you reach out to them, they're gonna obviously look in game and stuff, see that you are actually officially the leader, and it just doesn't complicate things, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. I think there are certain things that the leader has to log, but yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think it's a case of everything. It's just uh, given that I I work on computers so much, it's probably easier for me to oh, just do it anyway. Okay. I, I can do it pretty quickly, and it saves okay. somebody else having to log it on the phone or anything it, like it, that. It, what I heard from that is that some of the officers are probably a little bit older, and they don't really understand technology and don't really know their way <laughs> around computers, which would make sense because we have an officer called Richard. Shout out to you, my broski, um, who who plays the game kind of like he's got arthritis. I've played against him a few times in Battlegrounds, <laughs> friendly matches, and, and we won't really talk about the results too much, but um, I can see why you would make a comment like that, man, but, but shout out to the officers, man. Uh, so, spe <laughs> so speaking of officers, right, how, I mean, we spoke about it briefly, but, but I, I want to ask the question anyway. How much to you do officers play a part in making sure the Alliance runs smooth? Oh, massively. Okay. Massively, yeah, no, I, and I, as he's here, I'll give a huge shout out to Fist because obviously, as he knows, my workload at the minute has stepped up massively, and he's just 
He's basically sorting everything at the minute. Massive, massive shout out to him. That's why he was being cheeky when I asked him what you're like <laughs> as a leader. Uh, it makes sense now. <laughs> so I did up now, Fist, man. I right, listen, shout out to Fist though, because KJ's not lying, because the other day Fist messaged me at like one in the morning. I got up at five o'clock in the morning for gym, responded to Fist's message, and he messaged me back straight away. I was like, brother, what? <laughs> I said, like, bro, go to sleep. You know when that we're going back and forth, I'm like, bro, go to sleep, man. Why are you even still up? <laughs> you get me? So shout out to Fit. That's one thing I will say about this. This is very on point when it comes to like, you know, when you need someone that is like on the ball or or you need their opinion on something or you need some advice. Fist is Fist is always available. So shout out to I actually don't think Fist sleeps to be honest. But um shout out to shout out to you, Fist man. Uh, and speaking <laughs> of Fist. I definitely sleep. Uh, speak, speaking of Fist. Um, so Fizz, obviously, off the back of obviously what KJ just said, how much pressure do you feel like is put on you as an officer? And and I don't mean it in a sense to say like it's it's pressure put on you purposely, like oh my gosh, okay, Disney's doing, I'm gonna allocate it to Fizz. I don't mean like that. Just like a, as an officer within your own mind, like obviously there's certain things that you want to do to make sure that you're you're contributing and doing your best to make sure that everyone in the in the alliance is in a good place. You know the alliance performs to the best of its ability, and like you know how, how much pressure do you feel like is on you because you're an officer in the in the alliance? I mean, there's always going to be some form of pressure because obviously you're trying to do. Even though, like, I'm like you're an you're an officer of both, like your battle group and an officer within the alliance itself. So, like, yeah. when any decisions that you're making within your battle group aren't just affecting your battle group, it's a, it could potentially be affecting the whole alliance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like course. one one mistake or one bad decision in any battle group affects everyone. So obviously, like, there's like in terms of like try like it's, for things like alliance war, mm. like. It can, it you, you can feel the pressure, like in terms yeah. of like trying to get everyone organized, trying to get everyone's defense sorted, course, try course. like, um, trying to get everyone like joining up and communicating like in a sort of reasonable amount of time. Um, there's been there's with, with the whole raids for getting everyone used to raids, like there's not really been too much pressure with that i think yeah, every yeah. pretty much everyone's like taken to that really quickly and really well which is good like yeah. it's uh, it, it, i think those of us that did that very first week when it first launched i think we, I, I feel like as an alliance we made the right decision only running one battle group that particular week so that yeah. we could see what it, the, the game mode was like and not throw everyone in at the deep end I'm just and then when they yeah. And when they made those changes for the second cycle, yeah, and we saw how like sort of much easier it was. We obviously we were all given a heads up of the changes they were making going into that second cycle. So that's why we decided to then go from one battle group to two battle groups doing it. And then when we saw how quickly everyone finished, yeah, for this most recent cycle that just literally just finished today, um, we for, we decided right we'll go in with all three battle groups. And the same again, like every like all three battle groups were done within like two days, two and a half days. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So like it's it, it, so it's just it, I I think in terms of getting, as long as the officers are able to sort of give across the information, like whether it's an alliance war or a lot or or raids, or AQ, whatever, anything like that, or if you're sharing information in regards to how to go about doing battlegrounds. Yep. Um, in terms of building a deck, then it, it's just about communicating well enough okay. more than anything else. And like, like whether that's communicating to the members, like trying to get the point across, or when the officers are discussing things amongst themselves, like trying to make sure that everyone, all the officers understand like what it is that's being discussed before they go and then share information with the other members of the, of the, their individual battle groups. Okay, so so obviously we know that you're very active as an officer. Um, how does being an officer affect the way you play the game? For, for me or to KJ? No, or both? no for you, well this is for you because obviously KJ is the leader and, um, and I'll come on to KJ, I'll come back on to KJ in a sec. But for, for you, like, how does it affect the way you play the game? Do you find that like, you know, 
you have to spend a lot of time outside of the game organizing things and therefore because i know you're really active in the game like you know you play every aspect every game mode yeah i do pretty i do take part in well i say almost every game i would say, i would say it's almost every game no, I don't, so, I, I, what game mode don't you play i've, I've never done a gauntlet run yeah, 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 but the so, thing I mean, is, that, never, that's, I've, yeah, I've, but that's forever content though. So that's not something that you have to do quite frequently. That's in, just in a, terms like, of the, yeah, in terms of like things. Done. If you're talking about like arena battlegrounds, yeah, things with like, time all limits. that sort of stuff, Think, yeah, things like reset, things, things with, with time limits. Yeah, I guess like, in that sort of sense, yeah, I, t- I take part in all of that sort of stuff. I try, to, I at least try to do everything so that I can. I, I actually believe yeah. that you're an AI an AI because <laughs> you are very active in the discord. You're very active with the members of the Alliance. You're very active on Twitter and like, or X yeah. as they call it now. And then on top of that, you play every single game mode, like within MCOC and you there grind is, on FIFA. So like, there I, I, is I absolutely no way. no way that you can believe I'm an AI. Like AI no, does not have emotion. You've heard me. No, hundred percent. Like, no, plenty, that... plenty of angry emotions. I, I, I feel no like, way. I feel like the old AIs probably didn't have emotion, but as I, they're probably, <laughs> bro, you're probably proof that they they've evolved, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. No. I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like honestly, like, and, and the thing <laughs> is, I think you're like you're the number ten. Of the AI, whatever is made of you, because your name starts with ten, like ten thousand fists. I think there's a reason why your name starts your your name starts with a number. To be honest. So, oh my goodness! Know, just, I'm, I'm just I mean, go, going back to your original question, I don't yeah. think um, I don't think like being an officer like really. Uh, I, I don't think that like the way that I play the game really affects. Like sort of how I do my officer duties. Okay, really. that's good. See, do you know what? That's right. nice to hear because when I used to be an Omni, um, bro, we used to have these leadership meeting calls, bro, and like we would spend like an hour having meetings and discussions, and then like we'd obviously come together. If something happened in the game, we'd be like, oh, boom, we need to jump on. Bro, I was spending more time doing things to organize the alliance than I was playing the game. And after a while, I was like, bro, this is killing me, bro. You know what I mean? But I, I feel like you guys probably have a very good balance. Well, you guys would have to tell me this. I believe you guys have a very good balance with regards to officers pulling their weight. Even though I'm not going to say no names. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just going to say I've seen certain men have the officer title I oh I've never even I, I didn't even know man was in the alliance, bro. At one point I remember having having a conversation with Fitz. I said, Fitz, who's this, bro? <laughs> Fitz is like, oh yeah, he's an officer. I'm like, what, what does he do? Because I've never even heard him talk, bro. I'm like, well, what does this guy do? <laughs> but um, but but now nah, obviously I'm just I'm I'm actually making a, I'm actually making a joke out of something serious because that conversation did actually happen. But um, I'm assuming that obviously because of all of you guys, obviously have your group discussions and, you know, you, you all kind of pull your weight to make sure the alliance runs smoothly. Um, therefore, it doesn't all fall on one or two individuals and therefore everyone can still enjoy playing the game, which which I think is a, is, a, is an amazing thing, man. It's, um, it's a yeah. very good balance to have. So well done. Well done. Um, well, well done to you guys, man. Um, so... And we've, we've always tried to make a point of making sure that every battle group has a minimum of two officers in it so that like there's always a chance of uh, of one at least one of them being available when needed if like a battle group needs an officer to like have some input there's always somebody available yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like there should never we, we've always kind of felt like there should never be any one battle group where there's only one officer, or if, if there's multiple officers, there's only one officer that's actually, like, doing anything. Okay, for, yeah. So, which like, is, which is so we always try, to, always try to make sure that when we're when we're, like, promoting somebody from a member to an officer, we, we don't just, like, be like, uh, who, like, oh, we need another officer, this person's getting promoted, we'll discuss, like, do we nah, feel like man, that's a lie, bro, because you man, you man promoted rock, bro. Rock weren't no officer, bro. I'm not even ch- hey, Rock, shout out to you, my brother. Man got love for you still. But 
Bro, man promoted. I reckon Rock got promoted because he was just slapping bosses in, in, in the lights for, bro. He was slapping. And, and I think, for me, I was like, I was like, nah, man. You know, his his boy, shout out to his boy BJ, even though that sounds crazy. But shout out to his <laughs> boy BJ, because obviously when he left and took a break, man was like, nah, man, we're not even trying to lose Rock, you know? Like, man's going to slap him with this office attack. He ain't getting nowhere, because you stay there, bro. And then, you know, Rock's, Rock's you know, Rock's been been there since to, you know he ain't left so massive shout out to him but you lot did it T tell me what tell me what what process did you go through when you was thinking about promoting rock it's uh, not just rock like rock went through went through the same process as any other officer that we've discussed promoting and that's that's, that that's, what, I'm saying. that's what i'm saying we talk, made... me through, talk me through the process so, we, so, so I'm, I'm rock, as, I'm rock as, yeah? I'm rock. Like, tell me what you've looked at. What, what, what is your approach to me? Singling out, what, out rock. What, like, no, but I'm, I'm singling out rock because rock's my guy. I, I, I love rock. So I'm using rock as an example and I love rock. Rock, shout out to you because like, you saved we, me so many times in the lights, woman. So, so like, I'm rock. We, we pretend, want to pretend, make... pretend you're approaching me to ask me if I want to be an officer. Like, what, what was your thought process and what is the discussion, like, that you're having with me? Yo, what's good, Fizz? Like, I'm not doing role play with you, man. Yeah, come on, yes. man. I mean, I, I think I think one of the biggest ones is activity. Okay. How, how active you are, engagement within the Discord, knowledgeable, and then yeah, I mean, okay. The fact that Rook, yeah, was slapping bosses left and right definitely played a part. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But I think it's it was not just that; it was his game knowledge. He was more than happy to offer advice to other people that were asking, and he was just generally helpful. So, so what happens when? Because I noticed that, like, for the first month when he got promoted, it was like, yeah, boom, it. I, I started seeing him a bit more active, a bit more helping, and that making suggestions. Then, like, he got he he, he went past the honeymoon period. He got comfortable. Then yeah. it just weren't helpful no more. So, is there like a demotion process? Or no, nah, I'm just being a prick. I'm you not, go, you I'm, go for his spot, I'm, basically. I'm just being a prick. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cool, cool. Nah, but but but, but uh, I think that's important. Like, as much as I'm obviously playing around and what. That is important because at the end of the day, you, you do, like you said, not anyone, for me, not anyone and everyone can be an officer. Like, I, yeah. feel, I feel like you have to have a certain special level of dedication to step into that role. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not something that anyone can do. And ultimately, like, if you look at someone that's going to step into that role, they have to bring something to the table that can help better the alliance. Um, and and take that one step forward, you know what I mean. So you guys have a good balance of that, and that's um, at, well we have a good balance of that because obviously we're all in the same alliance. Um, so so yeah, that's that's good. That's 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 really good. So Fitz, before we get back onto KJ, um, for you, what's the most challenging thing that you've experienced as an officer? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think like I wouldn't say there's. Not there's one thing that particularly stands out when it comes to the most challenging thing, because like everything can have challenges, like depending on sort of the situation really. Yeah. But I'm more like, catering something... this to like your personal experience. Like, like for you, it might be something like, I don't know, recruiting, or it might be like trying, I to, mean, like, trying to keep like members from, from leaving or like trying to get your battle group in check because they're not pulling their weight in war. Like, you know, what, what is, what's been your most frustrating slash challenging thing that you have found like, oh my gosh, this is really like getting me to a boiling point, like as an officer, because you've been trying to rectify it or resolve it or sort it out. Like, I said, like, it's, it just depends on the time. Because that, like you, you mentioned recruiting there recruit there's been times when recruiting has been an absolute nightmare like you just you know, you'll you'll need like three four people or something and you can't find anyone that's like suitable to yeah, like yeah. join the alliance but then there's other times when you maybe only have like one or two spots available and you're you're just Bearman. you're getting more Bearman. people like wanting <laughs> to join like then you have man. spots for <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So true, it, true, it true. can just it so it can vary depending yeah, on true. like it, it just depends yeah. Um, so it, it's, it's the same kind of going back to what we when we were talking about sorting out alliance war defense in the, in depending on the meta of that particular season. Like sometimes you'll find something you'll find like 
something that works really well really quickly and you you'll roll with it and it and it goes well yeah, 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 yeah. and there's other times like with this current um matter with the whole ex magica magic thief stuff that finding like the right balance has been proving really challenging yeah no 100 so, percent. And, and you know what and i'm glad you said that because this brings me on to my next point actually um and and kj i'm gonna come back to you on this right um regarding finding the balance obviously you've been playing the game for nine years how do you find the balance to prevent yourself from getting to a point where you get burnt out um yeah it's a good question i suppose because i think i think we spoke about this a little bit actually just before yeah. christmas yeah 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 i've never really had that desire to take a break or stop playing until quite recently okay and um uh, to be honest now i can't remember what the reason for it was um as in the so, you can't you can't remember what the reason for it was that you felt burnt out or or how you yeah yeah overcome that. Uh, yeah feeling burnt out okay, um, okay. I I I specifically remember overcoming it actually um, I think I think when we was... spoke uh, before you obviously go into how you got past it I think when we spoke the the game was very stagnant like there wasn't really much new things come into the game it very much felt like the same thing was you're just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again yeah and, yeah, and i believe from the conversation we had you just felt like it was just getting very repetitive and boring um and then obviously you can go on to talk about what you was just about to say yeah so um, of it. no yeah so so prior to um this piece of content coming out um i had recently bought a house so yeah. congratulations by the way yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, and then before that, I could be considered maybe a little bit of a whale, small whale, not yeah. giant whale. Mrs. I hope you're not watching. If you are, he's just uh, talking about oh, what, what animals uh, in the ocean he likes. He likes, you know, he pictures himself being a whale. He tries to imitate the noises. That's what he's referring to when he mentions being a whale. KJ, I got you, my um, bro. I got you. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> and then, I got yeah, you. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and since then, it's kind of. I've obviously I've had to dial it way back. I'm I'm now near enough, probably free to play, and uh, then obviously necro uh, necropolis. I, I could still can't say ne that word. Ne ne <laughs> necropolis. That's it. Necropolis came out, and then it was obviously that was the difference. Now it's like, well, I either have to one hundred percent this, yeah, yeah. or I have to wail. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I used and abused the raid farming or resurrection harvesting yep, as Fist yep. calls it to get around my word <laughs> and discord yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I 100%ed that and it was it was very similar to what Tob said on the previous episode it was despite being such big health pools yep. when you've got Aegon max ramped you're still doing 9 10 million health in yeah, 5 yeah, and a yeah. half minutes yeah 100% Jesus. And it's, it was actually quite fun. Um, and then obviously, yeah, I I did it, uh, I think the 9th of December or 8th of December was I, when I finished it because I remember finishing it just on time for the uh, Valiant oh, Christmas nice. calendar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, well <clears throat> done. Well done, that's big. Yeah, so I am, I'm also a Valiant. Oh, so. not congratulate another brother to make man feel jealous. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. obviously with you having, um, obviously playing the game for so long and obviously completing Necropolis 100%, what would you say your biggest achievement is in MCOZ? Uh, yeah, definitely. I would say Necropolis 100%. Necropolis 100%. It's, it's the first bit of big content that I've done without just buying my way through it. Oh, nice and nice. And, it, and have it, you... It, have, yeah, go on, go on. It it was just a um, it was a completely different feeling. It was more a feeling of actual achievement, and yeah. it was earned rather than just bought and paid for. Would you say that that's the quickest you've completely you one hundred percent completed a piece of content like that that's come out? Uh, outside of act content, yeah. yes, because obviously, as as you know, act content's now down to three yeah, yeah. lanes. Yeah, of course. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I did act, act point three in about eight days. But, oh, okay, um, okay. But big content like Necropolis, yeah, yeah. I think three, four weeks is it's pretty quick. I'd say yeah, it's quite is, Yeah, I mean, definitely, especially when you've got people like me that are still waiting to do the remaining boss. But um, right. yeah, no, massive, massive, massive <laughs> shout out to you for that, man. Right, so my last question to you from a leadership perspective 
Um, mm-hmm. and, and you and Fisk can, you know, obviously um, put your two pence in to obviously answer this. Like, as leaders, like, how do you please everyone within the Alliance? You can't. You met Implication, right? Shout out Implication. Yeah, shout out to Implication. <laughs> He's, wait, is he the brother that you are allowed to, to uh, make up some of these rules in, in, in the flipping yeah, bar grounds? Yeah, oh, yeah brother, he's, he's yeah, the man, man. Yeah. yeah. I uh, I did change his name a while back in the Discord, actually, to Mr. Negative. Yeah, you, man, the next time we have a battle group tournament, you, man, need to make sure that in round <laughs> one is Beasy versus Implication because I got, we got oh. some unfinished business, bro. You well, are never getting an implication to sign up for a BG nah, tournament. Nah, bro. We, nah, man. We need, to, we need <laughs> something, bro. I'll be telling you, man. We need something, man. Even if I have to send that guy a temp, I will pay that guy just to let me smoke him. You get me? <laughs> so we, we need to make that happen 100%, man. But, but obviously, like you said, you know, you can't please everyone. However, obviously, you, you, you guys are doing something right because we've got a very core group within our alliance you know that we've we've got a, a very big percentage out of the 30 of us that have been here for quite a long period of time now um yeah, yeah. so like you said you can't please everyone but somehow you lot are finding a way to try your hardest to make things even if we're operating or going in a direction that like people don't necessarily want to go in you're still managing to make the, these decisions and changes without losing um, core players. Like how how are you doing that? Uh, yes, yeah, so, I mean, I think I think a lot of it comes down to, I guess, how we run the alliance again. Then and it's it's very much democratic in the fact that obviously, as you'll have seen, we have the announcement channel, and then for for big changes in the alliance we ask you all to vote on it to make your feelings heard. Yeah. And obviously not everybody agrees to the changes, but nine times out of 10, it's majority two to one at least. Yeah. Um, but then I think it's also just the case of, I mean, at the end of the day, it is a game and we understand that. And although we have these limits that we expect to be hit, there are certain times and certain occasions where people just aren't going to be for whatever reason. Yeah. And I think it comes down to the, uh, we're just, I suppose, for lack of a better term, we're not assholes about it. We understand that personal life happens. Of course, yeah, of course, of course. Which is, which is very key. It's, it's very key to have that level of understanding because I've been in a few um, scenarios where I've had a few emergencies and you know won't potentially be able to play the game um, for the next twenty four hours or maybe for the next week and. Um, like where obviously when you have things going on in real life uh the last thing you're trying to do is think about a game at the end of the day so um you know i think i speak for anyone where when it gets to a point where like you've got some real life stuff going on you are in a position where you're willing to just like be like look do what you need to do kick me remove me i'll leave whatever the case may be um and i think this is like one of one of the first alliances that i've been in where you guys don't make me feel like that i feel like I can communicate to you guys what's going on and be very transparent without feeling like, oh my God, my place is going to be lost here. Do you know what I mean? Which is which is a really yeah, nice yeah. feeling because at the end of the day, it's very difficult to be with an, an alliance that's playing competitively but still having fun but also still understands that real life comes first. And, and I, yeah, exactly. I, I think it's very difficult to find that and you guys have a very, very good balance of... Um, not only trying to keep up and playing and, and competing to get decent rewards, but also not putting pressure on the alliance or on the alliance members when they die in game modes like war or or whatnot, and also being very understanding and changing things temporarily for the short term if we have uh, one or two key members that can't play the game because they've you know. Got, got like someone's passed in their family or you know there's a really bad illness or you know whatever the case may yeah. be so you know massive shout out to, to to you like i said like massive shout out to yourself and um the officers and the rest of the leadership um in our alliance because the way you guys are running stuff together i think this is by far the longest i've been in an alliance and i have absolutely no plans of um of leaving do you know what i mean so like you know obviously i i remember i think the first time i joined here my mind frame was 
I'm going to join this alliance, catch up with the game, get up to date with content. And then if they still want to be pretty chilled and I want to step it up and be more competitive, I'll just go elsewhere. And, and when I remember the very first time an announcement was made to try and take things to the next level. And, and in my head, head, I was just like, look, I don't really care if it takes four or five years and we just slowly improve and slowly improve as long as like there's a there's a willingness to try and like progress and get ourselves to the next level that's that's all you can really ask for really and i think we've been doing an amazing job like you know slow and you always say this the saying slow and steady wins the race and i feel like that's exactly what you guys as leaders try to implement in well not even try what you do implement in our alliance and um it's, it's been a journey, man, and um, and it obviously it's, it's nice to see, you know, the, the same familiar faces, like, you know, the same people, you know, it's not, we don't have a high turnover of, like, old, like old school players leaving and new school players joining, so, uh, yeah, man, you guys are definitely doing something right, and I constantly have people, like, being like, yo, you got any spaces in your alliance, yo, 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 so, obviously, you know, you guys are, it's, it's not easy to, like Fizz said, recruit people and whatnot, so, for for us to have people that are like, yo, I really want to join you guys, man. You got any space? Um, obviously, you guys must be doing something right, man. So keep it up, man. Keep up yeah, the good work, guys. Um, all right, cool. So next, KJ, I don't know if you see this before, bro. Uh, I'm gonna have to do fist, fist between now and, and next week, bro. I'm, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a segment of this just for you, bro, because I didn't have this implemented when uh when we done your episode, okay? But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But okay, so. KJ, we're moving on to Marvel Madness, bro. So I don't know if you saw. Yeah, I did see it because I, I, I got a lot of word with Tobbs about him not putting Tiger at number one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew, <laughs> I knew. When I was like, bro, there's gonna be some people that ain't gonna be happy. All I was thinking of was you and Rock. I thought you yeah, and Rock I... are not gonna be happy. <laughs> he, he must have been on the devil's lettuce before you asked him that question. <laughs> in in Tobbs' defence, he didn't know like the order that he was going to say the champs in or what champs were going to even be in the list at all. So that, that is very true. However, the thing is, if you, if you're like, if cosmic is your thing and you get Herc comes up, if you know that Herc is just a mean machine, you're putting him top. I, you know? I, I'd put, I'd put Herc at the top of all classes. Yeah. See what I'm but, saying? So like, but would you, so, the, the way I would see it is, like, let's say you, you're you anticipating that like, you'd have to then be anticipating that you're going to... I'll have to then get into yeah. your head, Beezy, and be like, are you going to add Herc into the list? Like, do yeah, I yeah, save no, that number yeah, one of spot course, of course, of for, course. for Herc? Okay. And then I get to the final one, like, I've, I've put everyone else in the ranks two to four, and there's me thinking, right, I'm, he's going to say Herc, I'm going to put him at number one. And you tell me the last <laughs> option's Groot. Like, you just made me put Groot at number one. Well, well that's like, the beauty of this. That is the beauty of Marvel Madness. Like, when you hear, if you hear, the, the thing is, Tigra wasn't lost. So he had an opportunity to put Tigra, as, I can't remember what order I've done it in now, but I'm sure he had an opportunity to slightly put Tigra higher, and he didn't. And therefore, obviously, whoever I obviously said last slotted into, um, slotted into obviously wherever. Oh, I think I think the, the last I, one I said slotted into fifth place actually because the last one was Man Thing. I think. The, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, I was, remember the yeah. the order that you said him last week was um, Spider Man Supreme. Supreme. Yeah, he was first. Abs Man. Yep. Magic, Tiger, and then Man Thing. Yeah. Ah, see, fair play. See, do you know what? I I understand his. I I don't think he done bad because I know for him he loves Ab Absman. So he couldn't have. He, no one else could have taken the top spot because that that would have had to that would have had to go top for him. So I, I can I, understand him putting Absman number one. Yeah, like yeah, he, yeah. he uses he uses his Absman a lot. Yeah, he does. He does. So so like so so I, I do rate that. But obviously KJ, we we this is your Marvel madness. You've informed me that your favorite class is science. So. We're here with a little, you know, for those of you who don't know how this works, obviously I've now picked five science champions. I'm going to list, I'm going to say them, and KJ is going to place them in the order of his top five. Obviously, he's not going to know the name of all the champions from the get-go, so he's just going to have to place them and hope that the list looks presentable yeah. when we finish, okay? Um, <laughs> right, so... 
j- just just to put it out there before we get started on this, KJ, who's your favorite silent champ, by the way? Uh, it's gotta be Thickums. My guy, you know, Lady Thickums. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so um, that's Titania for those of you that don't know, like yeah. who they're referring to. Yeah, if, if you don't know, but I don't know where you've been, man. You've been sitting on the rock since she came out, man. Um, okay, so KJ, go on. The first champion, Overseer. Where are you putting Overseer on your list? Oh. It's a good first one, you know. That's a very yeah, good first it, one. it is, but the, but the science class is stacked, and it is it's very uh, stacked. I, but I think there, gonna, but, but they're stacked. Mid- but there's also there could be some there's some yeah, science yeah, duds, bro. So no, there's yeah, there is some duds <laughs> as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to put overseer in the middle of the row, number three. Okay, so overseer's number three. Yeah. Okay. The second champ. Void. Oh, where are we putting he's, him? He's, <laughs> he's, he's better than Overseer, in my opinion, so I think I'm going to have to go number two. All right, cool. So we've this got... Is, this, is look, this is looking bad already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've got Void as number two, Overseer as number three. Now, yeah. I made a point, because I'm not going to lie, when we last done this, I was going to trick around and mess around with... And, and I said, you know what? Nah, to keep it fair, whatever five I pick, I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, I'm not going to cheat or whatever, yeah? Even though I was really tempted to, but I'm not, okay? <laughs> so, um, okay, so with Void being number two and with Overseer being number three, where are you putting Electro? More. It's definitely four or five. I just don't know if you're going to pick another dud. Um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I will go four simply for the aggression fury with the Heimdall synergy cheese. Okay, cool. So we've got Void num- number two, Overseer number three, Electro number four. So you've got number one and number five left. With two more <laughs> oh, these, these are going to be horrendous, aren't okay. they? Okay. The next champion you'll be happy to hear is Lady Thickums, a.k.a. Titania. Where's oh. she going on your list? She's going at number one. All right, and I've she's... just got to hope you don't say who I think you're going to say. All right, she's going number... She's going number one. Ladies and gentlemen, before I say the last name, I'm actually going to ask KJ. I, I'm, I'm actually going to get this up on my phone because I want to show the camera who the fifth champ is when KJ says what he's about to say and what he thinks I might say. KJ, who do you think I am going to announce as the fifth champ that you have stated is the fifth best science champ on your list? So before I answer that then, yep. are they all are they all seven stars? That's too much of a giveaway. You can't. No, 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 no. I mean, no. So, because if if it's if it's a very, all right, then are they capped at a five star? Because I, if you if you're gonna say Quake, which is who I would have originally put at number one, had you said her earlier, if it's not her, I would say you're gonna put Scorpion in. Okay. So KJ's two guesses for the for who he would place at number five. Is Quake or Scorpion? Ladies and gentlemen, number one on KJ's list is Titania. Number two is Void. Number three is Overseer. Number four is Electro. And number five is Scorpio. That's fine. I could take Scorpion. I just would, I would have been upset no, if it was no, Quake. No. I can't believe it. Man's, that. A, man's I can't put believe. Electro above a Scorpion. Yeah, that's no, it's fine. It's fine. KJ, no, KJ. it's not fine. Um, KJ, that is not, fine. Not, that is not fine. I'm disgusted with you, KJ. There's some people who rate, up, who rate Scorpion as the best science champion in the game. And yeah, you're coming here telling they, us they, he's they number five. Him. They can rate him like that. Fist, I agree. He's not, Ty- he's not fit to lead us, Fist. Is this Ty- our leader, Ty- Fist? <laughs> is this our leader, Ty- Fist? No, he's like... KJ, Ty- you're going to honestly sit there and say you're... you're, you're Honestly, going to sit there and say like you'd rather use an electro in a, oh, in a, no, no, in a no, battleground not. fight over Scorpion. No, no, definitely not. But I would have been more upset if Quake was the last one because she is easily the best science champion, and that is not up for discussion. 
I, I, I mean, I rate it, man. I mean, if you know how to play quick, you know, I, I mean, oh, I, I yeah, 100%. Quick. Yeah, I, if she I was some, a seven star. I, I used to yeah. think that playing quick meant you parry. Uh, so, oh, no, no. yeah, yeah, until, until I learned, I, I think I was doing it one time on, 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 on stream and people were like, dude, why are you parrying, bro? I was like, yeah, I was like wait, 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 you could play her without parrying? <laughs> I was like, what, bro? I kid you not, learning how to play quick is definitely the reason I got off rise. I'm not going to lie. The way my thumbs have to move, bro, is crazy, man. Um, that is uh, that but, was ruthless. Man. I think you'll be hard pressed to find somebody that positions an absolute god tier at number five worse than I am. <laughs> but it, you know what? At the end of the day, it's part. Of, it's part of the game. I think that your top four was perfect. Titania, Void, Overseer, Electro. I would have done that in the same order too. But um. No, I, yeah. I think he messed up right at the start. Put it over here straight at number three. I think I would I would have started at him at four personally. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm glad you said that because it's your turn it's coming soon, my brother. It's your turn coming soon. So yeah, you got to make yeah, it. I'll be ready for it. Yeah, yeah. So I hope I hope you're gonna be ready for that, bro. Um, right. So I'm KJ, ready. right, go on, go on. What do you say, Miss? I said, I'm ready now. <laughs> uh, no, ready. I, I, I haven't prepped it. I haven't prepped it. So on, on the next <laughs> one, on the next one, we'll, we'll do on the next one. All right. So um, KJ, on the last topic of um, MCOC, I like to do this thing where, um, you know, I, I give you an opportunity to like, if you can buff one champion in the game yeah. um, and it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a champion. It could be a champion that's been buffed already. It could be a champion that's already powerful. It could be a champion that needs a buff. Um, if you can buff one champion, who would it be and what would you make their SIG ability? Okay, so I actually I thought about this because I know you've asked it on the other two and I yeah, have got yeah. two. Oh, nice, one okay. Because one of them I've woke up and chose violence. And I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying buff Herc. Okay, <laughs> okay. So if you was going to buff Herc, what, what buff would you give him? I would make it so that he could counter evade he would be immune to ability accuracy reduction and SP3s would still trigger immortality. Okay. The SP3 would still trigger immortality. I'm with you. 1,000% I'm with you on that. 100%. I, I like that. I like. I think that's I think that's quite reasonable, to be honest. I don't really think you're asking too much, to be fair. No, no. Especially, um, you know, how can you be indestructible, but yet your ability accuracy can be reduced? Come on, Kabam, man. Sort it out, man. Come on. <laughs> Hashtag buff Herc, man. Come on, my guy. <laughs> All right, then, sec uh, second one. Who's the second yeah, one? Yeah, my, my more sensible one, and to be honest, I don't know what I'd do. I just know that he needs it, is Sentry. Sentry. I, I think he needs, a, he needs a complete overhaul, not hey, miserable. Hey, do you know what's crazy, though? Sentry was nearly on the list. Sentry was yeah. nearly on the list. And let me tell you the reason why Sentry wasn't on the list. Because after I picked Titania, I had to pick one more chance. And I was looking at Sentry and I was like, nah, because I've written these in an order where I'm hoping that the last spot left is number five. And if the last spot left is number five and he picks Sentry, it, he's going to feel like he's done good. So I was like, we have to put a good God in here. And that's why I put Scorpion in there. But Sentry <laughs> nearly did make the list, man. So, so yeah. and like I said, see, if I put him in there, he would have been number five. And then you would have been like, yeah, cool. My list is cool. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have been capped with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would have been good. It would have been good. But okay, so cool. So Sentry would be someone that you would buff, but you're not really sure what ability you would give him. Yeah, I just I would make him just a whole lot stronger than what he is. I mean, is he, is he supposed to have the power of like a thousand suns or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah, he? And yeah. he's just... He's, he's, got a, he's got the power of a bloody wet noodle. Man's got the power of a thousand <laughs> bombs, you know. It's crazy out here, <laughs> boy. It's crazy. <laughs> but no, I hate Sentry's a very good one. I haven't heard anyone mention Sentry in a very long time. Uh, but the beautiful thing is the way the the you know the developers are with the game. Um, it's not something that's you know unrealistic. So you know, hopefully, we will see a, a overall. Um, overhaul on Sentry and there'll be a completely um, new kit given to him and hopefully we would see a Sentry buff soon man so that's that's a massive massive shout out man um, so so other than that KJ obviously when you're not busy grinding MCOC obviously I know you've had a bit going on recently but when, when you do have time on your hands and you're not busy grinding MCOC like what other games do you play? Um, I thought it really depends um, at the minute I'm playing a bit of Destiny 2 
Um, oh, you're a Destiny 2 person. Yeah, yeah, I've been playing oh, that for a little while. Bro, we can do the I, ratings. We can do the ratings. Yeah, I've done well, the yeah. ages. There is fire team finder now as well, so you don't have to actually have six people. You can just match make finally. Oh, that's sick. Oh, um, I missed yeah, Destiny. Um, I took a break from that. Um, very similar to MCS. Yeah, I suppose it gets quite repetitive after yeah, time. Yeah, 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 it does, it does. We're now, we're coming up now to um, the final shape, which is going to be the last instalment of the whole Light and Dark saga. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, it's um, it's all hotting up at the minute, so there's lots nice. going on. And then nice. obviously there's COD, play a bit of COD. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember you saying, you, when you say COD, do you mean like multiplayer or like COD as in like, as in like Warzone? Uh, a bit of both depends on how we're feeling. Oh, okay. so I, I I usually play um, with two other friends. Okay. Um, if we're feeling Warzone, we will play Warzone. If we want Resurgence, Resurgence, multiplayer, multiplayer. It's just nice. I don't changes. think I've got. You, I don't think I've got you added on. I think I've. I think I've played COD with you once. Yeah, yeah. I think me, you, and Fist have played it once before. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think I have you added on my Activision, which is why I probably never see you because I've been playing it recently. But I don't think I've ever seen you on that. I think I need to add you on my Activision because I think you're on Xbox, right? Am I right? In no, I'm, no, I'm on PlayStation. Oh, you're on PlayStation. Okay, so I need to I need yeah. to add you on my Activision. So, you, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that afterwards. Okay, so you play COD. Um, anything else? Uh, that's really it at the minute, to be fair. Um, so COD, Destiny 2, and MCOC. Yeah, at the minute. Um, okay. There's a, if there's a good game coming out that I fancy the look of, I'll, I'll jump on it. I think the last one was um, Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is the Ooh, latest one. I've heard a lot of um, good things about that. No, nah, no, nah, I agree with Tobbs. Don't play that one. Oh, for real? Yeah, no, nah, it was compared to some of the others, oh. it was it was not as good. I've, um, I've, I've got someone that was talking to me at work about it today, and they were swearing by how good it was. No, nah, nah, they, 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 they don't like you, man. <laughs> yeah, he's talking nonsense. They're out to get revenge on you. Swear down. Work, yeah. <laughs> they're trying to rope you, boy. <laughs> oh, fair yeah, play, yeah, fair yeah. play. Uh, fair if play. You, if, you, if you're looking for a good story game, though, I, oh, never mind, you're on Xbox, actually. I was going to say, I can't recommend God of War enough, but... I've heard a lot of good things about God of War. Uh, obviously, I'm yeah. a PlayStation guy, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm an Xbox guy. But do you know yeah. what it is for me, though? Like, for, I think I've gone past a point where like i enjoy single player games i feel like I, i'm such a social player which is weird because mm. i never used to be but i enjoy the social aspect of gaming so much that if it's not a game that i can play with a group of people i'm not interested yeah, yeah i think not. you just need to find the right game nah, right when it comes to like nah. single player stuff but, like there are some re absolute banging single nah. player games bro picture me turning my xbox on sitting there by myself playing a single player game i think the only way that works is if i'm streaming the only way I, the only way it will work is if i'm doing like a story mode on gta on stream because then i can enjoy it with the chat like we can all have a laugh and just like cool yeah. I can, something like that i can do i can do single player games if if i'm live streaming cool by myself no chance no chance i'm, I'm not like certain man that will not join aq and not meet my battlegrounds <laughs> minimums because I'm busy playing Far Cry and whatnot. Do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna say no names, but that's not me. Do you know what I mean? So I, I very much know my priority. My priority is being there for my team or my alliance, putting in the work. And well, I say that I don't think I've joined war yet. Shoot. Okay, cancel that. Forget, forget, forget that. Forget that. Cool. And um, you'll die anyway. Oh, is that yeah. what we're doing? <laughs> oh my word you woke up on war vibes today bro you know what? we should do a battlegrounds friendly just to end this podcast but we're not going to do that because my pad's upstairs and i got an excuse so it's cool <laughs> um right kj listen it's, it's been an absolute pleasure um having you on today man like it's it's been fun uh and and one thing is i really do appreciate you obviously coming on and giving um, a, a different perspective on the game because obviously a lot of us aren't leaders of alliances. We're not. We're not officers, and obviously we just literally wake up, pick up our phones, log into the game, do what we need to do, and then jump off. Uh, you know, whereas obviously people like yourself and Fizz, uh, you have a lot more responsibility and a lot more goes on behind the scenes 
um, to obviously make sure that things are running smoothly so that people like myself can just jump on and play and enjoy the game, man. So, you know, I really do appreciate you coming on and giving that perspective. The same goes for you, Fizz, as well. Uh, massive, massive shout-out to, to you guys and massive, massive shout-out to the Alliance. Um, KJ, is there anyone you want to give a, a shout-out to before we wrap this up? Um, no, I mean, not really, not particularly. I've already given shout outs to the other officers, and I, yeah, you yeah, definitely I'll have. Sta stand by that. Um, and then, yeah, again, it's, it's just especially Fist because he's obviously the other officer in our BG, so yeah, yeah, definitely. He, he is he's putting in a shift at the minute while my work life is crazy, so yeah, yeah I yeah. appreciate it. Massive, massive shout out to Fist. So, if there was a if there was like a, a, a title of like assistant leader, what yeah. would you say? Would you giving it, would we be giving it to Fist? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So he's, oh. he's in my BG as well. Come on, get me gets, home. The other officers are jealous in that. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, fist number one officer in that. You get me? That award goes to you, my guy. Right, from I've got other officers. I, I, did, I didn't request this. From KJ. That's from KJ. KJ, <laughs> KJ that's from KJ. Number one I mean, officer. We, 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 both, we both heard what he said before you clicked record. <laughs> The guy's trying to change it up because it's recording now. See what I'm saying? This is, this is, this is you. <laughs> but um, but now, nah, man, fun and joke aside, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, you guys coming on, man, and um, I appreciate you guys. Um, Fist, is there anyone you want to give a shout out to before we wrap this up? Nah, I'm good. All right, cool, man. Fist don't rate you guys, officers. Fist don't rate you, lot, man. Fist is saying he's, he's on top, man. <laughs> You get me? Like, pause, pause, pause. He's on top. Sweet, um, but listen, um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys smash the like button um, if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see anyone in particular on here next, uh, let me know. Might have a bit of a chilled episode next week. I might just kick back with Fist and um, just have a catch up. There's been, obviously, I think we're going to be entering a new month soon. So, might just yeah. review. We might just review how the month's been and, you know, what, what we've enjoyed doing, doing in the game. I've completed a few things over the last few days which we also might talk about man so um so yeah man yeah, um, we've got the we've got the kabam live stream coming up this friday there and they oh. just announced next month's champs like oh, a couple of hours i saw so. that as well yeah. oh my god yeah yeah we, yeah yeah fist, fist, yeah set, set, set evening inside for me bro we need to catch up 100 percent, man 100 percent. but um all right cool well listen um again once again uh fist kj uh massive massive shout out to you guys and and, and love to you both man i uh, appreciate all the hard work that you guys are, are putting in to keep the alliance running i really do appreciate that um and really appreciate you guys jumping on and taking time out of your evening um to come and chill out with your boy um it's been an absolute pleasure guys make sure you show these guys some love um and i will catch you guys in the next episode man take care for now guys peace see ya yeah Okay, Joe, who would your bottom three um, members in the Alliance be? <laughs> He's still recorded, man. Yeah. He's still recorded. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Right this one, right this one. <laughs> <laughs>